Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Our sun is dying, what does death mean for the sun? It means our sun will run out of fuel in its interior. It'll cease the internal thermonuclear reactions that enable stars to shine. It'll swell into a red giant, whose outer layers will engulf Mercury and Venus and likely reach the Earth. Life on Earth will end. If the sun were more massive estimates vary, but at least several times more massive it would explode as a supernova. So, no supernova. New models predict our sun at the end of its life, though forming a planetary nebula will remain faint. The planetary nebula will disperse and fade. With its thermonuclear fuel gone, the sun will no longer be able to shine. The immensely high pressures and temperatures in its interior will slacken. The sun will shrink down to become a dying ember of a star, known as a white dwarf, only a little larger than Earth. It will be about 4.5 billion years, give or take, but someday it's going to happen, and what then for our solar system? The first thing we have to contend with is the elderly sun itself. As the fusion of hydrogen continues inside the sun, the result of that reaction, helium, builds up in the core. The first thing we have to contend with is the elderly sun itself. As the fusion of hydrogen continues inside the sun, the result of that reaction, helium, builds up in the core. This means that as the sun ages, it gets steadily brighter. The dinosaurs knew a dimmer sun than we see today, and in as little as a few hundred million years, Earth will get too hot to handle. Our atmosphere will get stripped away. Our oceans will evaporate. For a while, we'll look something like Venus, locked in a choking, carbon dioxide atmosphere. In the final stages of hydrogen fusion, our sun will swell and swell, becoming distorted and bloated, and red. The red giant sun will consume Mercury and Venus for sure. It might or might not spare Earth, depending on exactly how large it gets. If the sun's distended atmosphere does reach our world, Earth will dissolve in less than a day. But even if the sun's expansion stops short, it won't be pretty for Earth. The extreme energies emitted by the sun will be intense enough to vaporize rocks, leaving behind nothing more than the dense iron core of our planet. The outer planets won't enjoy the increased radiation output from the sun either. The rings of Saturn are made of almost pure water ice, and the future sun will simply be too hot for them to survive. The same goes for the ice-locked worlds orbiting those giants. Europa, Enceladus, and all the rest will lose their icy shells. Now a look at the solar activity today, for the last 24 hours. The sun has been relatively quiet, with C-class flares being the strongest thus far. Here is the sun observed, through the SDO-131 filter. There are seven sunspot regions on the Earth-facing side of the sun today, and sunspots 3320 and 3321 being directly Earth-facing. Now for the lunar observers. The moon will be full tonight. Illumination, 100%. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.